Welcome to Q&A Thursday, and today's question comes from Adam, who asks, does music have an effect on someone's workout? And surprisingly, the research is fairly limited in this area, but what has been done has been primarily in the endurance arena. So you're running, cycling, that type of uh, endurance activity. What they have found is that there are basically three factors that can contribute to uh, a change in performance when it comes to music, and those are tempo slash speed, so your beats per minute, your rhythm response, and what that's referring to is a lyrical flow. So for example, with rap music, sometimes the beats per minute is a little bit slower, but lyrically, uh, it's much quicker. So that can have an effect on things. And thirdly, the emotional response. So sometimes the music may not be super fast, but you may elicit an emotional response because of a memory that you affiliate that music to. So that can have an effect on your performance. What they have also found is that when it comes to beats per minute, that a 145 is about the ceiling where beyond that it doesn't have much of an effect on you. Uh, and what they have also found is that when movement is synchronized to the beat, that our output uh, becomes much more efficient. So there was a 2012 university study where they, they looked at music at, with cyclists, so people riding bikes, and they found that when they synchronized their movements to the beat of the music, they actually utilized 7% less oxygen. So their, their bodies became much more efficient because they got into that rhythmic pattern with the music. It wasn't as sporadic as it would have been without the music. The other thing that music can provide is a distraction. So it can distract you from feeling that fatigued or your perceived exertion. Additionally, when, again, going back to endurance, it can increase your endurance output by up to 15%, studies have shown. There are also apps out there that you can utilize if you want to preset your beats per minute based on what your workout's going to be. One is called Rock My Run. That's rock, like rock music, my run. And the second is called Pace DJ. And I'm sure there's others out there, but those are the two that I found. Now, Rock My Run is a streaming service. You go in and you enter the type of workout and your beats per minute, and it will just feed in songs. It's a, like I said, a streaming service. It'll feed in songs that match that beat per minute that you've set. Pace DJ, on the other hand, will go through your music library and find the songs that match that beat. So utilize, play around with both of them. I think they each have a premium service for additional features, but it's kind of a cool functionality if you want to go out and say, get a hard run in or cycle or whatnot. Now, in terms of strength training, again, the, the research is really limited, surprisingly. The limited research out there does show that there is indication of increased power output uh, probably due to that distraction factor of pushing away the, the signs of fatigue and uh, also perceived exhaustion. So I definitely would recommend to fire up that old iPod or whatever device you use. Pick a good playlist that really gets you fired up. Put those headsets on, get your playlist rocking, and have a great workout. Thanks for the question.